what is the aura, how it's created, and why it's related to our actual electromagnetic field that surrounds the body. Your body can produce electricity. Yeah. When you think about something, when you have any emotions that is related to your thinking, whether this thinking makes you happy, makes you sad, makes you frustrated, makes you angry, makes you feel in love, all these emotions create chemical reactions in your body. These chemical reactions generate electricity, and this electricity creates the field that surrounds your body. People call it aura, which is a three-dimensional field that surrounds your body that describes if you can see it or you can video it or can do imaging for it it can describe your mental state like if you feel angry upset all these sort of things will be displayed in your aura does it happen before that you're walking in the street and somebody was looking at you from behind then suddenly you turned your back and you found the person was looking at you was actually looking at you and you just pinpoint his location accurately without even noticing how this actually happened. Do you know how this happened? I'll give you a quick hint. When this person looking at you, he's actually thinking and he has emotions and his emotions create electri uh, the electric field and therefore the electromagnetic field that has frequency. These frequencies, you can actually receive it. Think of yourself as a mobile phone that you can receive electromagnetic waves. These frequencies can be received by something called pineal gland. It's the back of your head. People call it third eye, or Horace eye, different names. It has spiritual stuff, but let's have a quick idea what it does. This pineal gland actually is very sensitive to light. Light is simply an electromagnetic magnetic waves. And it's actually reacting when you are sleeping. It's just produces this melanin that allows you to sleep comfortably and you wake up in the morning and you feel you have the energy for the day. And also, it can allow you to receive frequency from other people. It doesn't happen before that you're thinking about someone and suddenly this person starts calling you, right? you actually receive that frequency and you sense it and your brain start to give you some ideas about it. That person is very specific. Your brain is so expert about how to distinguish between different frequencies and identify the feelings behind this frequency. So when you are sleeping and you saw someone in your dream, most probably this 90% this person is actually thinking about you you just receive these waves when you are sleeping and most of the dreams your brain your subconscious brain start to help you producing these images and that you saw in your dream that describes these frequencies but how we can distinguish between this kind of dreams and the uh, nightmares for example nightmares will be when you are sleeping and you have some kind of disturbance field around you. You feel not relaxed, you have all these negative emotions and all sorts of things. So to have this thing works better for you, you need to sleep with relaxed and empty brain. Don't think too much. Hmm. Alright, if you need to know more, <clears throat> let me know. Thank you.